I just got through this yard full of honey and this swarm was eyeballing me the entire time. So hopefully these bees stay in their boxes and continue to hoard all this honey. And from what I'm seeing, they seem to be carrying forward that work spirit. Time will tell. We wrapped up another day. We have another couple hundred hives uh, lifted up over escapes. We didn't get as much done today as uh, we typically do. Uh, just a few things and it's so bloody hot. So we're just, we slow down a little bit with our work. The truck says plus 35 and it's humid as hell. I am just completely soaked. We uh, drank lots of fluids. I tell the crew when it's hot like this to, uh, we're first off, we slow down, drink lots of water, uh, carry less and move slower, work slower. So then, you know, we don't get the yards done in 35, 40 minutes. We get the yards done in an hour instead. So it took us a little bit longer time. Uh, I just got that feeling that there isn't as much nectar coming into these hives. And it's no wonder it's so bloody hot. These hives are probably focusing on trying to just maintain the conditions within their hive, gathering water and such. As you just, I just don't see the activity in the yard as I, as I typically did the last few days especially. Flowers in the fields, like the canola, the late bloom canola seems to be hurrying up in its bloom. What we really need right now is a rain. To take advantage of this tremendous heat, we need we need moisture to be able to keep those flowers going and pumping out nectar. So I always figure on these days as being honey producing days because you need the heat, you need the warmth to get those bees working those long days, but we also need that moisture. So I think we're just starting to dry up a little bit. We were lucky to get the moisture we have gotten so far. The nukes are full, they could use space right away, but if the uh, if this nectar flow is slowing, then uh, well, we just don't know. So we work as hard as we can. We flip these boxes over, we give them new space, and then we just wait and see what happens. Our first flow is just about to end, like all the canola down around the flats. That's pretty much done down there, except for a few fields. Um, Alfalfa is still kicking out a bit, and sunflowers. So I expect the sunflowers to pump out a bit of nectar. It just loves the heat. It taps deep. And the plants just look tremendous this year. So as soon as that comes online, we better be ready for it. And hopefully we get a rain here. Not the severity they're talking about today. I think we might have missed that, I hope. But, uh, you know, just give us a nice half inch, inch of rain. That would fill these boxes and I would be, I'll be scrambling just to try to keep ahead of everything on the second go around. But if we don't get that, we just take it as it comes. This yard might be a little bit further behind uh, within the entire apiary. That's why I'm tagging it closer to the end. Uh, but for the most part, all the boxes we are lifting today, we're having trouble uh, maneuvering that arm. So that's always a good thing. You know, these bees have me on my head half the time. I wandered into this yard. I'm just at the end of the day here, just heading back to the honey house, and I thought I'd check back into this yard. And this yard I tagged on to the end of my flow work because like that last one I was at, it's a little bit smaller. So I thought, so I poked into here and I'm only two miles away from that other yard and they are practically packed. So I don't know where the hell they got all their bees from, but this was, this yard was a little bit smaller uh, throughout June. What happened in this yard is into May, throughout into June, I actually starved them out. I wasn't watching the flows coming in and I didn't have enough syrup on them and I come back and they're practically dry. Just about just about to the point where they're pulling back in their brood production and it uh, and they were just set back just a little bit because of that. They didn't progress into July the same as the rest of the apiary so I put these guys right at the back anticipating a little bit slower development. But I don't know if you can see, but we have huge canola fields in the background. So obviously in this particular area, there's lots of flow still going on. This yard is buzzing with activity yet. And because I've practically run out of escapes, uh, by the time we set the two, three yards tomorrow to finish up uh, before we start pulling back on Saturday, 
I'm not going to get back to this yard to set boards until well, it'll be six to seven days from now, so that's a week. So these colonies that show cappings on the top, I've, I've had to drop another honey box on them just to be able to catch this flow, which puts me really short, like I'm short on honey boxes right now, but I mean the flow's coming in, you got to catch it because you don't know when it's going to stop. And even if that puts you a little bit short, things don't always go as planned. Sometimes you just have to, you just have to do what has to be done within that certain point of time. So I boxed them up. So this yard's got another, this yard of 40, has another 20 boxes on it. And I anticipate by the way these hives look right now when I come back in about a week or so, I anticipate those boxes will be full. So a concert run me short staff today, which, and dad wasn't around today to fill my barrels. So Carrie didn't have time to empty this tank and she come this close from spilling over. But luckily the crew got back from the yards to help pull a few barrels before we spilled it over. So we are testing 17.3, which is awesome. We started around that 18.9 mark, and now we're to 17.3. So we are flat out. So I'm just pulling another barrel from the tank so Carrie can do her cleanup, flip the parts and such, and give her some space in here. And I'll go do my uh, evening chores around the honey house. I'll call dad in after supper to come tap out this tank for us. So we're running a little short staff because half my crew went to a concert tonight. I can't say no to that. So. 